when in a, in a political scenario and despite the, the allegations, despite the nature of this departure, one of the things that is difficult is going in to a, a leadership position after a popular figure. Um, the old saying, you're like going into bat after Bradman. It, it's not easy when you're going in mm -hmm. after someone who is popular, <laughs> even though the Gladys Berejiklian is departing in the circumstances in which she is, amid allegations and inquiries being undertaken by the Independent Commission against corruption. It's still not easy. And, and not the other thing is there's a step up. Um, even though I, I interviewed Dominic Perrottet yesterday, impressive communicator, very, very uh, effective politician. In fact, I think would uh, surpass a lot of the federal uh, people that we deal with and politicians that we interact with on a daily basis. He's a good communicator, really good politician, but going from Treasurer to Premier, different spotlight, different scrutiny, and it is a, it is a big step up. So I, I guess that balancing act is what Andrew is alluding to with the six kids. But there's no doubt, Andrew, Perrottet has the capacity for that and does have the ambition for, for higher honours as well, Andrew. Well, there are always bigger jobs, Premier, compared to State Treasurer, even Prime Minister, compared to Federal Treasurer, because as Treasurer, all your time's really around the budget. OK, okay you go to the, all the budget committee meetings, but there's not the same spotlight. But I will say one thing Perrottet did manage through the pandemic, through enough appearances at, that, at, at those press conferences, was enough of a profile and people know who he is. And that's half the yeah. trick here. That's why the Premiers were loving those daily press conferences and still do. You know, no one used to know who the Premier was. Gladys became, you know, this, this huge figure. As you say, I don't think Bradman in terms of performance, but uh, I, I hear what you're trying to say in terms of, um, you know, uh, resp or not people knowing her in the community and liking her, and particularly women liking her. And the thing about that is she, she kind of... She played this to the utmost, and good luck to her for doing so. She was a woman who made it in a man's world. And you can't get a bigger man's world than the New South Wales Liberal Party, where well, you can. It's probably some, one of those clubs down in Melbourne or something. But essentially, it, it, is, it is full of men in the parliamentary ranks. It is full of men in the yep. branches. And, uh, it, it, you know, they haven't gone for the quota system like Labor. And she rose to the top. So she's become a real figure mm. for women who, who say, well, you know, you can beat all the blokes. You're just having a go at her because you're a bloke. You know, and, and good luck to her. Yeah. She, she knew, the, she knew what she, the role she was playing with that. I've, I've known Gladys Berejiklian for many years. And uh, I, I, salute her for, I salute her for some of the, the polit of politics that she's played. She is a very effective and skilled politician. And politics is one thing she knows. Been president of the Young Liberals. She used to put it on all her CVs even now. It, it, it has been her life. And she has excelled at politics. And, Tom, 